Did you know that Noctua publishes their like roadmap to future projects on their website? Most of the stuff on there is stuff you'd expect, like a black version of the A12X25, white fans, and the next generation 140 millimeter fan, which would probably be like something like this, but bigger. But there is one thing that's not like the others, a desk fan. What? Thank you to Lester for sponsoring this video. If you're like me, most of your shopping happens online. However, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you're really getting the best product for your money, and this is where Luster can help. Luster is a free product research assistant that helps you make informed purchasing decisions. Say you're shopping for something like a new monitor, but you don't really know which one to buy. Luster will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your budget so you can be sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. You can actually see why people chose the products they did by checking reviews and ratings from sources that you trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit discussions, and other YouTubers. Luster can even tell you if a product's on sale or compare prices across many retailers like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Online shopping is meant to be quick, so save time and money and always get the best products by installing Luster using the link in the description below. It's completely free. Yes, in 2022, Noctua wants to release a desk fan, but the key nine among you might probably know that that desk fan has been, a, it's been around for a while. It's always appeared on the roadmap. Um, but never really came out yet. The first that I can remember seeing it was probably back in 2019 when, uh, I think it was Computex 2019, but then I kind of just forgot about it until one of you guys brought it back up. That person's name is 12 Gauge Freedom. And they sent me an email where, with some photos of the desk fans saying, hey, it would be great if we could, you know, get a file out there for anyone that wanted to make this. And I was like, yeah. It does sound cool. Now, in order to design a desk fan, specifically the one that Noctua has showcased a few times, we need some information about it. And after some digging around online, I was able to find um, a press kit Noctua published for CompuPex Taipei 2018. And in this press kit, on page 10, we learn a little bit about this desk fan. For one, we know that it's now powered by the A12X25. We also see that it should be USB powered and they call it the Airflow Application System or AAS. But what's on page 12 is what we really need to make this happen. On page 12, we have a render of the AAS with a cutout so we can kind of see the internal structure. And this right here gives me enough information to be able to reverse engineer this into something that is printable that we can use. And that was, uh, it was way easier to design than I originally thought. And I tried to use the color scheme, you know, similar to what Noctua has. It's a little light, but I think it gets the point across. Uh, and you might also notice that there's a little difference between this one and what was shown in like the design phase. Uh, after I printed it, I noticed that I had these chambers a little off. And although that probably wouldn't have mattered for the function of it, I wanted it to look as similar to the original as possible. So I moved them and reprinted it. But for the most part, Pretty happy with how it turned out. I went with a GoPro style mount for the bottom. So in addition to the fan controller and the power cable, you'll also need an M3 screw and lock nut. I'm using an M3 by 30 socket head cap screw and a lock nut. You could probably get away with the 25 or 26, but you'll need to get one of those. For the controller, I just made a little recess here that you can place it in. Fan gets mounted to the back. Power cable goes through this little cutout I made. USB power out. So let's put it together. You could use 
bolts and you know nuts for the fan mounting, but you know most Noctua fans come with these anti-vibration mounts. So that's what I'll be using. I recommend you guys use the same. Just makes it easy. Let's see how this bad boy works. Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's plug it into this little laptop here. Wow. That actually throws air pretty far. The reason this blows my mind so much is I have a blue Boone desk fan USB thing that I bought on Amazon like forever ago. And it works, but it's so loud compared to this one. And I don't think it throws, it doesn't throw the air like this one does. It, it, I mean, you can feel it like a buffeting, like a normal fan, but this thing is more of like a, a constant flow. It's actually really, really nice. And I could feel it from way back here. It's throwing that air quite a ways. And it's very, very quiet, which is kind of awesome. It's a pretty good test fan. I, I don't doubt that Noctua will, del will release, you know, something like this in the future. Uh, obviously this is probably not a high priority for them, but when they do put one out, I'm sure that it will be a good product because this thing for just being 3D printed and made from looking at a picture works really well. And if you want to make this, I will put the models on Thingiverse so you can download them and print them out. Like I said, you need a power cable, fan controller, and an M3 screw for this design. You could use any 120 millimeter fan you have, print it out obviously any color you want and use it to stay it's so good. Use it to stay cool. Till next time.